hunger by nasira sharba the market was really crowded the shops were full of items waiting to be sold though things were expensive people were buying them anyway there was unemployment but people were eating and drinking with thoughts of such as these crossing his mind rizwan stood at a shop selling cold drinks looking for someone who worked for a living but was not a shop owner at that instant his eyes fell on a man carrying a load on his head and walking in his direction rizwan quickly went up to him and without any greeting placing a hand on his shoulder inquired your name Kasim caught at a wares the middle aged man stopped profession selling old clothes income 500 rupees a month can you manage with that yes where do you live what's it to you don't get angry chacha all i ask was where do you live wherever i can find a place family children in the village you have land there no do you know the government is helping poor farmers no but who are you a tout or journalist chacha are you afraid of me no but one never knows in this place would you like to do farming no but why this is my profession ask your father he is too old ask your brother we will arrange for the land i don't have a brother what does your father do stuff answer me seriously i am only answering your question sir what did your father do for a living physical labor did he earn a decent amount no did you or he knew that we have a storehouse of petrol we call it black gold no who was the shah i don't know was the common man happy in his reign how would i know anything about this shah was your father happy no did he ever tell you anything yes he used to talk of his father and how he died of hunger or cold anything else his father had told my father that his father used to work in somebody's house died of high fever what did he do physical labor what does your son do chases dogs meaning he still very young plays around in the village will you educate him what i mean do you want him to study and become an important man i will start him in my profession from next year why next year he'll be 5 years old then would you want to take a loan and set up a business i am already in debt how will another loan help will you take help from a bank to settle it where is the need to take help from anyone well you could live a more comfortable life we work so hard yet try to understand what i am saying our new government has sent us to help you to talk to you and to understand your problems so as to give you a better life i don't want it but why we were asked a lot of questions last time too and then after the procession nobody remembered anything it won't happen this time we slept hungry that night why because all day we were shouting slogans instead of working really now it's time for my work salam wait a minute chacha no sir there must be some laborers near the ditch right now wanting to buy some warm clothes all right then you give me your address so i can bring the form for you to fill up and submit what address should i give you why at times i sleep in front of some shop sometimes under the bridge i see 
So let's meet there tomorrow. Tomorrow I am going to my village. Then, okay, now it's time for me to start work. Listen. The rag seller did not stop. And carrying his wares on his shoulder, he moved on taking long strides. Rizwan watched him helplessly. Only today, he had found a job for himself through an acquaintance in the Kihan newspaper. He had been given work on the condition that first he would contribute a few articles and then he shall be considered for the job. He had been told to submit interviews with five people along with their names and addresses. It was difficult enough to identify these people in this crowded market to make them talk was an ordeal. The evening was turning dark. Rizwan was thinking of the unending problems back home. His mother was ill. His father had died almost two years ago. And his two younger brothers had to drop out of school. It seemed now it was time to starve. Rizwan looked at his watch. It was exactly six o'clock. At seven, he was to submit the first interview at the newspaper office. Dejected, he looked around and started walking with tired steps. He had not eaten anything since morning. His pocket was empty, except for the bus pass. On reaching the office, he exchanged greetings and sat down in a corner. Where is the interview? It is here, sir. Okay, put your name on it and leave it on the table. Yes, sir, said Rizwan, and thought for a minute and then wrote his own name and address on Qasim's interview and drew a deep breath. When he came out, he had the satisfaction of knowing that he would be coming for work the next day. But the problem of finding another name and address for tomorrow was already beginning to worry him. He shook his head as though telling himself, who knows what all may happen tomorrow. If he is still alive, surely he would find a way. His stomach was gnawing with hunger pangs. He was exhausted and famished. And now he simply wanted to reach home as quickly as possible.